Boy, Joe Rogan uh, and his presidential proclivities have been in the news a lot. On Friday, Joe Rogan um, had the audacity to say that he thought, you know, um, that RFK was a nice guy and that he liked him. And the media ran dozens and dozens of articles saying, oh, uh, Joe Rogan officially endorses RFK. Even RFK retweeted the article and was like, see, Joe Rogan endorsed me. Of course, people on the right were appalled to hear that, given many people's secret suspicion or suspicions that Joe Rogan is secretly a Trump guy. And you can't blame people for getting upset or thinking that he was endorsing RFK because there was a literal dozen to 20 different articles immediately published after was a after what was clearly an out-of-context clip hit the internet and the message was created. If you go back to about, what, three years ago? Two or three years ago, Joe Rogan, uh, a Joe Rogan clip was put on CNN where they made his face look yellow. They tried to make him look sicker than he really was. Many people thought he should have sued CNN for that. I happen to agree with that. Well, now MSNBC has deceptively edited a clip of Joe Rogan, a clip in which he was completely roasting Kamala Harris, okay, where he was completely roasting Kamala Harris and, and, and uploaded it to their channel as literally Joe Rogan endorsing her. Now, there's all sorts of stories about, oh, Joe Rogan suing MSNBC for $30 million over this. We'll take a look into that. I have found no sufficient evidence of that. But the evidence of MSNBC deceptively editing Joe Rogan to make it appear as though he is supporting Kamala Harris, that is 100% true. And that's what I do on this channel, whether it's when I'm live Monday through Friday at 1 Eastern or in my standalone videos. I try to cut through the baloney and uh, the best I can that mainstream media is pumping out there and make it all make sense. So if you're enjoying the video, I hope that you'll follow me um, or um, you know, subscribe to the channel. So there's this tweet. Unbelievable. MSNBC deceptively edited this clip to make it look like Joe Rogan was fawning all over Kamala Harris. Quote, she's a strong woman. She's a person who served overseas twice. She's everything you want. What MSNBC didn't tell you is that Joe Rogan was actually talking about Tulsi Gabbard. Yes, it's true that Joe Rogan thinks Kamala can win, but he's asking why the Democratic Party is so bent on pushing candidates like Kamala Harris when people like Tulsi Gabbard exist. MSNBC has now reportedly deleted the video from their TikTok page. Receipts on Joe Rogan's remarks in the comments down below. Now, here is what MSNBC uploads to their TikTok. And by the way, they notated it. The description of this video says, Joe Rogan predicts a Kamala Harris victory in November, arguing that voters simply like her better or something like that. I can't see the rest of it. We know that that is not only not true. He did not predict a Kamala Harris victory in November. Um... But, like, here's the clip that they uploaded, and then we'll look at the actual original. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. She she can win. Right? She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. And then they cut to a clip talking about Tulsi Gabbard. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice she, in a medical unit. So she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump, no matter what. She's going to win. So you work for MSNBC. You see the original clip, okay, that was over two minutes long. And you not only, you, you meticulously edit it to make it say that when this is the original clip. It all bothers me, the fragility of the human mind, you know, that we're so everybody forever was like Kamala Harris is the worst vice president. She's the least popular vice president. He's 100 percent right about that, by the way. Everybody is completely forgotten. Everybody, it, it's everybody 
has, you know, completely forgotten that she was the least likable vice president, I think, according to whatever surveys, in modern history. Now they're trotting her out there like everybody's a complete moron and has completely forgotten that. Of all time. And it's kind of working. And then in a moment, a moment in time, all of a sudden she's our solution. She's our hero. Everybody's with her. All these social media posts about her. Try Googling a negative story on her. You won't find one. So, ta da! Okay, you, 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 you've got me started, Officer Harris. So, uh, <laughs> they've been doing this live for years. So, in 2019, our pal Tulsi absolutely nuked her in that second debate, which we can take a look at too. We can take a look at the debate. And right. if you looked at charts at the time, the, she's kind of. Uh, Officer Harris is like doing okay. First of it, she comes out. Joe Biden, you're a racist. The Democrats were looking for an alternative to Bernie Sanders that wasn't Biden. She starts going up in the polls, right? Second of it comes out. Tulsi, being a good Hawaiian, knows how to roast the pig. She <laughs> completely slams her. Not only that, she has no counterpunch. She goes on Anderson Cooper and she's like, well, I'm a top tier candidate. So, of course, people are going to take shots at me. That's her answer. She immediately starts going down in the polls. It's that day. You can see it on the chart I have on my Twitter. All the articles at the time that did an autopsy on Kamala Harris's failed campaign didn't mention Tulsi once. Yeah. It was BBC, LA Times, Reuters, New Yorker. A guy from the Washington Post just did a piece looking back on her campaign, didn't mention Tulsi either. This is the way the media does it, right? The media creates their own reality. And, for, you know, people can... You know, we can, us as enlightened viewers and things like that, we can look at it and say, well, yeah, I know that it's fake. I know that it's a lie. But then have you ever gone out in public and had somebody repeat an obvious lie to you? I bet you it's happened, right? Especially around election stuff, right? Oh, did you hear that Trump believes this? You wait. You wait three weeks. I guarantee you some dumb, Democrat, Democrat, that, that was a Freudian slip, but it worked. Some Democrat is going to tell you that Tulsi, I'm sorry, that Kamala Harris came up with the no tax on tips. That's what I guarantee you in the next month, you're going to see a headline or you're going to have somebody in public tell you, boy, that Kamala Harris is really smart. She's really smart. She came up with no tax on tips. That's a really big win for the service industry. I guarantee you, you're going to see that. Isn't they com wild? they completely pretend it didn't happen. Well, it just shows you that what they're looking for is not what they say they're looking for. Yes. Because she is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who serves. So now he starts to talk about Tulsi Gabbard. I mean, this is literal propaganda. This is literal propaganda that MSNBC put out. Literal. They took a thing that Joe Rogan said and made him say it about somebody else. Because she Here's, is again, a strong woman. He's talking she about Tulsi. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice she, in a medical unit. So she got to see people blown up by the war. She, is, uh, she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. All those things you want. But and she's yet not, you don't want her. Because she's not for war. Yes. And this is why I say, you know, Trump... For, every, for everyone turning on Joe Rogan, and I actually initially did, and I thought and I, 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 cooler heads prevailed because, you know, I was being stupid. But, like, you know, Joe Rogan platforms people like Michael Malice. And when you do you think any hardcore Democrats actually listen to Joe Rogan's show? If you were a hardcore Kamala shill, could you listen to this? Could you listen to basically a 20 minute segment of Michael Malice and Joe Rogan? 360 dunking from the free throw line on Kamala Harris. I, I don't believe that Joe Rogan has any of these NPC weirdos in his audience. Now, Dem Democrats could would believe this, right? Black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but 
She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. Oops. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. By the way, this is, yeah, Tulsi Gabbard absolutely nuked her from orbit. And that's why they won't do any more debates with crowds. You know, that's why they won't do any more debates with crowds because that will happen again. You know, I don't think Joe Rogan endorsing Donald Trump convinces a lot of his listeners to vote for Trump because he does segments like this. If you were like a hardcore Kamala Harris person, do you think you could listen to that and think, I'm still going to vote for her? I just don't think that exists. Now, this whole $30 million lawsuit, this is a huge problem that, that started to get worse. Again, MSNBC is the one here that you need to be thinking about who did something wrong. MSNBC put out literal propaganda to promote Kamala Harris, okay? Other people now have completely made up this $30 million lawsuit from where? There's no evidence of it anywhere except for one guy's video that got 5 million or 2, 3 million views claiming that Joe Rogan's suing them for $30 million. There is absolutely no evidence anywhere. And I hope that's why you watch my channel. I think it's an important story. And I think it's important to maybe get people's attention, but it's obviously not good to just spread a, a lie, you know, a complete lie. Officer Lou, who, who tweeted this, right? No evidence, no community note. And it started with what? A tweet with 10,000 views. And then there's YouTube videos with millions of views talking about this. It's important that people know that mainstream media lies. It's important people know that no, Joe, Joe, Bi uh, Joe Rogan did not say this about Kamala Harris, but that I have seen no MSNBC evidence of any lawsuit anywhere. But shout out for those who are pointing out the fraud because it's going to get way worse before the election. That's why I hope that you follow me at this moment or subscribe, whatever you're watching, create an account, follow, tune in daily. I have a live stream every day at 1 Eastern. I do extra streams on Sundays. Monday, this Monday, I'm going to be doing my normal stream plus one. And I think eight Eastern, whenever the Trump Elon Musk interviews on, I'll be live streaming for that because it, I've never taken my job more seriously about trying to make sure people understand the truth.